Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video I will install a new package in our project and I'm going to install this package because I had a comment in uh, YouTube and as you can see here is the comment. So can't wait for other videos and I am curious if I use Breeze React React Starter with also the filament package. So the filament uh, is going to be for the backend, for the admin areas and we are going to use React with uh, Inertia for the front end. And for that, I'm going to install the filament in our project. Okay, so let's close this one now. And I'm going to open the browser and let's search. And here I'm going to search for uh, filament PHP. Okay, and we're going to go to documentation and install this package in our in our project. I'm going to copy this and let's open the terminal. Here I am inside the Netflix directory, as you can see in our project, and I'm going to install this. Also, I'm going to open the VS Code and, or let's open here the file tree inside the app, models. I'm going to see just the models because I'm going to create for all of them the resources. We need to create the resources and then on the back end we are okay with filament to create a CRUD. So we need a category resource, episode resource, genre resource, movie, series, and also the users. Let's see. Yeah, what is the ID for the admin panel? I'm going to leave it admin, but you can change if you like. And let's clean this. And now if we can see in uh, composer.json file, we have here the filament, which is a version 3.2. Okay, now let's go back and go to getting started inside the resources and i'm going to copy this command to create the resources for our project also i'm going to open here in this side the tree of models just to remember them and here the terminal and i'm going to paste this command just change the name here which is going to be user okay next one is going to be for the category Okay, next one is going to be for the movie. So let's remove this and name it movie. Okay, I'm going to clean this. Next is going to be for the genre. So let's say genre, next one for the series. And also for the episode. And I think we are okay. Good. Now I'm going to run also a fresh command. So PHP Artisan migrate fresh. And yeah, we have now movies, series, episodes, genres, and categories uh, database. And also favorites, as we can see here. Good. I'm going to clean this. And now let's open our projects. So I'm going to open the Netflix dot test. Okay, we can log in here. So with the test example, test example dot com and also the password, which is password because when we run the fresh command, this and fresh, the fresh command also is going to run the DB seed and the database seeder. We have this user factory create. The name is test user. The email is test example dot com and if we open the user factory we can see that the password is so password is static password or ha hash make password the string password okay good so now if i just change the url from the dashboard to be admin we are here and we have categories, episodes, genres, movies, series, and users. Right now, if I go to categories, we don't have categories, episodes, genres, movies, and so on. And I'm going to group them. So for example, I'm going to group the movies, series, uh, episodes, and also genres, or just movies, series, and episodes in one group, genres, and categories, 
in another group and those users is going to be alone. Okay, but with the resources we're going to work in the next video, this video was only to install a filament package and the reason why I installed this package. Now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.